Good evening and welcome to the 2024 Fairfax County Public Schools Honors. My name is William Solomon, Chief Human Resources Officer. Ladies and gentlemen, can we have another round of applause for Kate from Marshall High School? Absolutely incredible. Now before we get started, I have a question for audience members. How many of you have been in education or have worked in Fairfax County Public Schools for one year? Raise your hand up high. For five years, 10 years, 15 years, 20 plus years. Oh, wow. I want each and every one of you in the audience and your families and your friends who are here with us today to give yourselves another huge round of applause. You have impacted tens of thousands of student lives throughout the course of your career. It can't be quantified and it is just incredible. Now we're here together tonight to celebrate the incredible accomplishments of some of our most exceptional employees. We have tremendous individuals working across this organization that don't do the work for the spotlight or the recognition, but we do want to take tonight to shine a light on the impact that they're making on our students and in Fairfax County Public Schools. Finalists, as you walk across the stage tonight, we hope that you feel that light and know that Team FCPS is proud to call you one of our own. You are role models that inspire each of us to think bigger, innovate, and become change agents within our own communities. You make Fairfax County Public Schools a place where we want our children to be educated and a place where we all want to come to work. It's all of you who are leading the way forward for our school division. Now before we move into our congratulatory remarks and our award presentations, I'd like to recognize some individuals we have with us this evening. Members of our school board, please stand and be recognized. <laughs> school board members, thank you for your vision and your leadership and for being here with us this evening. I'd also like to recognize my colleagues on the leadership team. Please stand and be recognized. Thank you for joining us tonight and for being such strong advocates of our employee recognition programs. Now, audience members, you'll have an opportunity to meet the school board and leadership team members as they are going to take turns announcing our finalists and the division award recipients throughout the evening. At this time, let me introduce our superintendent of schools, Dr. Michelle Reed. Good evening, and it's been my pleasure to um, have an opportunity to greet each of uh, the nominees and finalists this evening, and it's been fabulous uh, to spend a few minutes and get reacquainted in some cases, and to get to know some of you and learn about the work you do, and just see that light that shines from deep within uh, with passion for the work that you do in each and every day. I also want to say that in, on Team FCPS, I just think that we have such different roles. Each of us has a role that's critically important in the development and transformation of our young people. And I was uh, visiting with several of our kindergarten teachers. How many of you, let's hear it for our kindergarten teachers that are up here. I will just say that is not work that I can do. So I am so grateful. And I see Mr. Litz uh, chuckling over here. I remember sharing with a group of kindergarten teachers that I just didn't understand why they couldn't teach uh, solids and liquids, a beginning chemistry unit, in the second week of school to kindergartners, because that's what our pacing calendar at the time said. And they're like, well, if you think you can do it, why don't you come in and show us how it's done? <laughs> So this is a couple divisions ago I've learned. I don't say that anymore. So I did, of course. I went and visited that kindergarten class, and I never once have suggested we do a chemistry lesson in the second week of kindergarten again. But it just goes to show that um, whether you're a facility supervisor, a transportation router, 
an uh, IA in a special education classroom, a principal of one of our schools, um, an office staff person, a lunch uh, nutrition and uh, staff member. In whatever role, um, the strength of this division is our people. And I just am so honored to be with you this evening and to celebrate um, your accomplishments. Uh, there's just something about excellence that's contagious here in Fairfax County. And so many of you are also uh, graduates of Fairfax County. If you're a graduate of Fairfax County, would you please stand? I just, you know, I just have to tell you that is not common. In this country, it is not common to have so many people believe so strongly in the mission of the organization that they were a part of as a young person to come back and be part of leading that and leading work. Um, and I just think that's really special. And that's, um, that's a gift, I think, about Fairfax County. It's just we're different, and it's because of the people. Um, so I just want to thank each of you for your role, whether you're a nominee tonight or not. Um, what you do here is critically important. It matters a great deal. So thank you, and I believe I'm supposed to turn it over at this time to our board chair, Carl Frisch. Let's give him a warm welcome. Good evening, everyone. Uh, I'm not going to do the Oprah thing and walk around. Um, uh, thank you for being here. I'd like to welcome my school board colleagues who are here tonight. Um, we are incredibly grateful uh, to be here with all of you as we celebrate the very best of FCPS. Uh, but first, a joke. Why did the Scarecrow win an award? Thank you. Yeah, it's on the prompter, you're supposed to say why. Uh, because he was the best in his field. I just read what's on the prompter. In all seriousness, this room is filled with incredible educators and staff who make a difference in the lives of our students. Um, we visit schools as school board members regularly and see firsthand how each and every one of you impact the daily lives of our young people and their families. You go above and beyond, uh, exceeding what anyone thinks is possible every single day so our students can be successful and achieve their true potential. And it might not always seem like it's noticed or that you're being seen, but we see you, our school board sees you, and we appreciate you, your tireless dedication and your sacrifices, and the sacrifices of your family members. We are proud of everything you have accomplished, and we recognize you tonight as the stars we know you are. We look forward to celebrating with you tonight, and again, congratulations. Good evening, everyone. No, no, that was weak. Good evening, everyone. Okay. So I am really proud to be here this evening. Why? My name is Sunil Budrani, and I'm the chair of Educate Fairfax, the foundation for Fairfax County Public Schools. One of the, don't clap for me clap for yourselves. One of the best school systems in the United States. So something we should be more proud of that than anything else. I have the privilege of the last seven years being part of an organization that's devoted towards connecting school system students, administrators, teachers with our community and building a bridge between the two. With that being said, we are very fortunate to have brought on a new generation in our Educate Fairfax journey. Dr. Lynette Henry is our director of Educate Fairfax, and I would love to call her to speak a few words. Thank you, Dr. Henry. Good evening to everyone. Thank you, Dr. Burani. Educate Fairfax is a proud sponsor of Fairfax County Public Schools Honors. We are the nonprofit education foundation that builds partnerships and raises funds to support students, 
educators and schools in Fairfax County Public Schools in achieving its strategic goals. There is much important work going on throughout our county that would not be possible without Educate Fairfax support. In the last school year, Educate Fairfax provided innovative grants to staff, allowing them to provide students with equitable access to innovative learning experiences and opportunities, preparing them for college and career, health and medical careers, fine and performing arts, STEM and workforce development, and more. We also provided students facing economic hardship with essential school supplies, personal hygiene items, newcomer kits, and more. And we have supported initiatives that align directly with helping Fairfax County Public Schools reach its strategic goals to include Spring Sprouts, Algebra Access Network Improvement Communities, Advancement via Individual Determination, AVID, Global Classroom Project Student Scholarships, Global Ambassador International Teacher Exchange Program. This spring, we launched our alumni website, hoping to engage our FCPS alumni and friends. So please check out our website and join our alumni page. We are looking forward to collaborating more with you this coming school year and learning how we can continue to support you. We believe Fairfax County Public School employees are some of the best in the nation and go above and beyond in service to our students. We value you and look forward to continuing supporting you as you continue to invest your time, care, and expertise in preparing our students for success. Educate Fairfax worked with many businesses, but many business partners to sponsor this evening's festivities. So let's recognize them now. Please hold your applause until the end. Thank you very much to Apple Federal Credit Union, I-66 Express Mobility Partners, Cox Business, Rico, USA, Fairfax County Economic Development Authority, Guernsey, Cigna Healthcare, Mosley Architects, and Kaiser Permanente. Let's give all of these sponsors a round of applause. Thank you for your generous support of Educate Fairfax and Fairfax County Public Schools. We have a wonderful evening ahead of us. I'll now turn the program back over to Mr. Solomon so we can begin the awards presentations. Thank you. Thank you, Dr. Reed, Mr. Frisch, and Dr. Henry for your remarks and for your support and commitment to employee recognition. Ladies and gentlemen, can we get another round of applause? Now, before we announce our awards for this year, I wanna tell you a bit more about our outstanding employee award nomination and selection process. For the school-based awards, each school collects nominations from colleagues, parents, or students and administers a process to select their award recipients. These school award recipients are then considered by their pyramid selection committee, who chooses the pyramid level recipients. Regions then select recipients from the group of pyramid recipients, and those region recipients become the finalists that you're going to see on stage tonight. Now for our non-school-based awards, each central office department collects nominations and determines their local level recipients who then become semi-finalists. A selection committee comprised of Fairfax County Public Schools employees from various offices selects the non-school-based award finalists from the semi-finalist group. As you can tell, very rigorous process. So the people that you see on stage here tonight, they are here and they are here for a reason. Now this evening, we're going to recognize finalists in 12 different award categories. 
Each of the finalists within a category will be introduced individually, and then the Eddie Award recipient will be announced. The Eddie Award symbolizes the support and inspiration that our employees provide to our students, community, and their colleagues. This year, FCPS is recognizing nearly 800 individuals across all the nomination categories. You bring extraordinary pride and positivity to our school division, and we're so happy that we can celebrate your achievements together. Now let's get started with our first award presentation. Good evening, everybody. I'm Penny Gross, Assistant Superintendent for Region 4. I'm Il Young Moon, School Board Member at Large. We are pleased to be here tonight to honor the finalists and announce the Outstanding Elementary New Teacher Award recipient. The Outstanding New Teacher Award is given to two new teachers, one at the elementary level and one at the secondary level, who are within their first three years of teaching. Although they're still new to the profession, the educators nominated for this award have demonstrated exceptional performance and an extraordinary ability to engage and inspire their students to higher levels of achievement. To start out, we'd like to recognize our school and pyramid recipients for both outstanding elementary and secondary new teacher. Could those individuals in the audience here tonight please stand? At this time, we would like to invite Dr. Reed to center stage as she will be presenting the awards this evening. We would also like to bring the representative from the I-66 Express Mobility Partners to join Dr. Reed on stage as they are this year's outstanding elementary new teacher sponsor. While some new teachers might consider it an accomplishment to simply survive the first years of teaching, our honor is to achieve excellence. They may come from different schools and bring different perspectives and experiences, but they share at least one thing in common, a passion to connect to their students and become great teachers. We're using the teleprompter for the first time, so we're kind of guinea pigs here. We are ready to meet our elementary new teacher finalists. Mary Ann Castle, Lorton Station Elementary School. Ariana Gallahan Zarate, Fair Hill Elementary School. Ellie Jamborski, Terraset Elementary School. <laughs> Kylie Marciello, Cameron Elementary School. Gunjan Agraval Sapkota, Willow Springs Elementary School. Angela R. Young Sung, Sangster Elementary School.
now for the 2024 Outstanding Elementary New Teacher, the Eddie goes to Mary Ann Kassar. Good evening, I am Sandy Anderson, school board member representing the Springfield District. I'm gonna continue the awards with the Outstanding Secondary New Teacher Award and the representative from the I-66 Express Mobility Partners remains on stage as they are a sponsor for both new teacher awards. Now let's meet our Outstanding Secondary New Teacher finalists. Olivia Adams, Carson Middle School. Michael J. Higginbotham, Irving Middle School. Simone Kialani Jenkins, West Potomac High School. Nicole F. Matthews, Katherine Johnson Middle School. Katherine Elizabeth Safian, Longfellow Middle School. Katie Shaw, Annandale High School. And now, for the 2024 Outstanding Secondary New Teacher, the Eddie goes to... Simone Kalani Jenkins. <laughs> Good evening, I'm Ray Lynette, Assistant Superintendent for Region 3. 
And I'm Rachna Sizemore Heiser, school board member representing the Braddock District. We're so excited to be here tonight to present the award for this year's Outstanding New Principal. This award recognizes a distinguished leader, an educator uh, who is within the first three years as principal. Each new principal here tonight has demonstrated incredible skill and outstanding performance in their work with students, faculty, staff members, parents, and the community. Joining us for this presentation of this award is the representative from the Fairfax County Economic Development Authority. At this time, we'd like to recognize the school award recipients for outstanding new principal who are with us in the audience tonight. Could you please stand? <laughs> While all of you have been incredible, our finalists for this award have through each have their own unique style, but they share the ability to lead with distinction. Their passion for education is apparent and their hard work is appreciated by us all. Let's meet them now. Ingrid C. Badia, Annandale Terrace Elementary School. Veronica Del Bagno, Rolling Valley Elementary School. Raven N. Jones, Luther Jackson Middle School. O'Neill, Mount Vernon Woods Elementary School. Linda Cassess Shannon, Mantua Elementary School. Monica Guerrero Verib, Herndon Middle School. And for the 2024 Outstanding New Principal, the Eddie goes to Raven, Raven Jones. Jones. Ladies and gentlemen, can we give our award recipients thus far another huge round of applause? Now, as we move to our next award, I want to take a moment to recognize the time and commitment that it takes to put a recognition program of this magnitude together. 
FCPS Honors is coordinated and brought to life by the Fairfax County Public Schools employees committed to highlighting the achievements and hard work of their colleagues. I'm going to ask individuals who have worked behind the scenes to stand and be recognized when their role is announced. Firstly, our award liaisons at each school and in each department who spent countless hours working with nominees to create and submit their packets, please stand and be recognized. Well done. And in that group, we also have our pyramid lead liaisons who facilitated next steps of the process. Please stand and be recognized. Thank you. And our region teams who helped shepherd our winners through each stage of the process. Please stand and be recognized. and our leadership team, who spent the last several days having conversations with all of our finalists. Please stand and be recognized. And of course, I wouldn't be doing my job if I didn't say congratulations to the HR communications and employee programs team that coordinates and supports the process from end to end. Please stand and be recognized. A tremendous amount of effort goes into ensuring that our FCPS Honors event is a special night for all of our honorees and guests. So I'd like to extend a big thank you to our Director of Employee Services and Operations, Micah Dunlap, and her team, and all the staff and volunteers who've contributed to the success of this evening's program. Please give them a huge round of applause. And with that, this brings us to our next award. Good evening, I'm Lee Burden, Chief Financial Officer. Hi, and I am Marcia St. John Cunning, School Board Member representing the Franconia District. Well, <laughs> thank you. We're going old school, we're not using the teleprompter, so um, we are thrilled to be here tonight to help recognize our amazing operational staff. The Outstanding Operational Employee Award recognizes employees who have made extraordinary contributions to FCPS. Whether you're ensuring technology systems are operational, providing meals to students, keeping classrooms safe and clean, transporting students to and from school, or assisting administrators, teachers, and community members, the recipients of these awards have gone above and beyond to help FC make FCPS a place where all students can achieve success. Two EDI awards are given in this category, one to a school-based employee and one to a non-school-based employee. We are here to present the category of Outstanding School-Based Operational Employee. Therefore, at this time, we'd like to recognize the school and pyramid recipients and department, department semifinalists for the Outstanding Operational Employee Award. If you're with us in the audience tonight, would you please stand? Now, let's take a look at our finalists for Outstanding School-Based Operational Employee. Laura Cespedes Mora, Fairfax County Adult High School. Miki Okada Fryer, Kings Park Elementary School. <laughs> mm -hmm. 
Jiun Kastner, Oakton Elementary School. Lan Ang, Chesterbrook Elementary School. Thelma R. Pemberton Abbott, Mount Vernon Woods Elementary School. Magali Perez Rivas, Lynbrook Elementary School. Amy Yoham, Brookfield Elementary School. It is my great joy and privilege to present the Eddie Award to our beloved Miss Abbott. Good evening, I'm Marcy Neal, the Interim Assistant Superintendent for Strategy, Planning, and Learning. Good evening, and I'm Terry edmonds Heard, the Interim Assistant Superintendent for the Department of Special Services. Let's meet our finalists for the Outstanding Non-School-Based Operational Employee. Beatrice Bucare, Chief Experience and Engagement Office. Hyunju Kim, Chief Operating Office. <laughs> Bessie Y. Moreno, Special Services. Anith Muthalali, Chief Academic Office. Maria Rodriguez, Information Technology.
Meg Rogers, Instructional Services. And now for the 2024 Outstanding Non-School-Based Operational Employee, the Eddie goes to Anith Mathali. <laughs> Hello, I'm Michelle Boyd, Assistant Superintendent for Region 6. And I am Mateo Dunn, the school board member representing the Mount Vernon District. The Outstanding Professional Award recognizes non-instructional employees who have made an extraordinary contributions to FCBS through their work and positions such as school counselor, school-based technology specialist, transportation operations manager, budget analyst, and human resources specialist. Eddie Awards are given in two categories for this award, one for a school-based professional employee and one for a non-school-based professional employee. Joining us for the presentation of this award is the representative from award sponsor, RICO. At this time, we'd like to recognize all the outstanding professional school and pyramid recipients and department semifinalists who are with us here tonight. Would you please stand? Let's take a look at our outstanding school-based professional employee finalist. Daryl C. Byram, Lewis High School. Cassandra Didi, Edison High School Academy. <laughs> Ellen Rogers, Belvedere Elementary School. Kimberly J. Sloan, Intra-Agency Alternative Schools. <laughs> Rachel W. Sweeney, Rocky Run Middle School. Allison Warren, Centerville High School. Alice L. Whitener, 
Madison High School. And the 2024 Outstanding School-Based Professional Employee, uh, the Eddie goes to Daryl Byram. <laughs> I'm Noelle Clemenko, Assistant Superintendent for Instructional Services. Good evening. I'm Robin Lady, School Board Member representing the Drainsville District. Joining us for the presentation of this award is the representative from award sponsor Guernsey. And now, let's meet the finalists for the, two, the 2024 Outstanding Non-School-Based Professional Employee. Angela Aldave. Chief Experience and Engagement Office. Sonia P. Ariano, Instructional Services. Karen Bolt, Chief Experience and Engagement Office. Kristen Haynor, Chief Equity Office. George Saad, Chief Operating Office. Nicole Warwick, Special Services. Recipient of the Eddy for the 2024 Outstanding Non-School-Based Professional Employee goes to Karen Bolt.
Hello, I'm Becky Vanig, Assistant Superintendent for Region 5. And I'm Carl Frisch, uh, Chair and Providence District Representative on the School Board. Eddie Awards are given in two categories for this award. One, for a school-based leader, and one for a non-school-based leader. We're excited to be here tonight to present this award to this year's Outstanding School-Based Leader. First, we'd like to recognize the School and Pyramid recipients and the department semifinalists for Outstanding Leader who are here with us tonight. Could you please stand? These individuals are innovators, mentors, and student advocates who build positive relationships, share their expertise, and are passionate about education. Let's meet our outstanding school-based leader finalists. Rachel Forte, Centerville Elementary School. Christy Close Hanlon, Justice High School. Danielle Hornbecker, Frost Middle School. Chris Powell, Carson Middle School. LaDonna M. Tate, Forest Dale Elementary School. Gregory C. Thomas, Fairfax County Adult High School. For the 2024 Outstanding School-Based Leader, the Eddie goes to Danielle Hornbecker. Good evening, uh, my name is Douglas Tyson, the Assistant Superintendent for Region 1. And I'm Andy Muick, Chief Operating Officer. We are here to present the Outstanding Non-School-Based Leader Award. Joining us for the presentation of this award is the representative from award sponsor, Cox Business. Now, let's meet our finalists. 
Michelle D. Andrews, Human Resources. Lisa Forrest, Chief Equity Office. <laughs> Michelle Pratt, Financial Services. Carrie F. Reynolds, Instructional Services. <laughs> Eleanor P. Stack, Special Services. Elizabeth Vicioli, Chief Experience and Engagement Office. For the 2024 Outstanding Non-School-Based Leader, the Eddie goes to Elizabeth Vizioli. <laughs> Hello, I'm Giovanni Ponce, Chief for Schools. And hi, I'm Melanie Marin, Vice Chair of the School Board and Hunter Mill Representative. The Standard Teacher Award is given to two teachers, one at the elementary level and one at the secondary level. These educators are truly extraordinary, both in their dedication to the profession and their ability to propel students in high level of success. At this time, I would like to recognize the schools and pyramid recipients for the standing elementary and secondary teacher who are with us tonight. Could you please stand? Tonight's finalists are teachers who have gone above and beyond to show special concern for their students and instill them in them a desire to learn and achieve. You know, when I got into the work of being in public education policy, it was driven by wanting to help students, but every day more and more I know it's because I want to help you and teachers because if you're doing well, our students are doing well. So thank you for everything that you do. Joining us for the presentation of this award is the representative from Apple Federal Credit Union who is sponsoring the Outstanding Teacher Award again this year. Now, let's take a look at the finalists 
for the Outstanding Elementary Teacher Award. Look at the screen, please. Margaret Brinkheis, Cunningham Park Elementary School. Amanda Castellucci, Woodburn Elementary School. Hadley Harrison, Union Mill Elementary School. J.K. Hestmark, Columbia Elementary School. <laughs> Stephanie Sniffen, Poplar Tree Elementary School. Anna D. Yortzides, Franconia Elementary School. The 2024 Outstanding Elementary Teacher, the Eddie goes to Shay Hestmark. Good evening, I'm Sloan Presidio, Chief Academic Officer. And I'm Megan Broman, Assistant Superintendent for Region 2. We're going to be announcing the award for Outstanding Secondary Teacher. We'll also ask the representative from Apple Federal Credit Union to remain on stage as Apple is sponsoring both of the Outstanding Teacher Awards. Now, let's meet our Outstanding Secondary Teacher finalists. Taisha Augustin, Sandberg Middle School. <laughs> Rocco D. Bonus, Fairfax County Adult High School. Maya Guerrero, Madison High School.
Madison McKenna, West Springfield High School. Colleen Nolan, Marshall High School. Amber Yusuke, Lewis High School. Rebecca Van Vranken, McLean High School. For the 2024 Outstanding Secondary Teacher, the Eddie goes to Madison, Madison McKenna. I'm Marty Smith, Chief of Staff. And I'm Ryan McElveen. I'm young enough to have been Marty's second grade student. <laughs> oh, now, come on. We are delighted to be able to present the final award this evening, the Outstanding Principal Award. Let's hear it for the Outstanding Principal Award. <laughs> this award recognizes an extraordinary educator whose vision and leadership guides their school to excellence. At this time, we'd like to recognize the school award recipients for outstanding principal who are with us in the audience tonight. Could you please stand? Tonight's finalists aren't just keeping up with the accelerating changes of the profession. They are several steps ahead, creating innovative solutions, generating positive energy, and inspiring their peers. They gracefully and eagerly embrace the myriad responsibilities that come with running a school, addressing parent and community concerns. We are thankful for all they do. The representative from Apple Federal Credit Union is remaining on stage as they are the, sponsoring the Outstanding Principal Award this year as well. Let's meet our 2024 finalists for Outstanding Principal. Sean P. DeRose, Annandale High School. Rebecca L. Forge, Park Lawn Elementary School. Jamie C. Gadley, Drainsville Elementary School.
Jeffrey D. Litz, Marshall High School. LaRonda Peterson, Riverside Elementary School. Tracy Phillips, Robinson Secondary School. For the 2024 Outstanding Principal, the Eddie goes to... Jamie Gadley. Ladies and gentlemen, can we get another huge round of applause for all of our nominees? A huge thank you to our sponsors who made this event possible. And of course, all of you for being here with us tonight to honor all of our honorees. In closing, one of the things I wanna share is as your Chief Human Resources Officer, I wanna underscore that people are the heart of any organization. And it's the, it's the folks who were honored tonight the high quality, high impact educators and other professionals who are making sure that our students get that quality education to which they're entitled, that make sure that we're transforming their lives, that make sure that we're giving them everything that they need. So from the bottom of my heart, I wanna say thank you to everybody in Fairfax County Public Schools, all of our employees, all of our instructional staff, all of our operational staff, all of our administrative staff, thank you. This concludes our program and good night. <laughs>